Opportunities come and go, and when it comes, take it. Majority of my life was always procrastinating. I wanted to do a lot of things that I believe was gonna change the world. I wanted to make apps. I wanted to make a website that was gonna change the clothing industry. I wanted to exceed further in coding. I wasn't getting the time to pursue those ideas and turn them into reality. Now with all these experiences I had accumulated for 20-ish years, I'm barely finding out my rhythm to trying to get something right. It took a lot of failures, determination, and point of convergence to really understand the idea of trying to get from one point to another in business or any creative ideas that I'm trying to achieve. In the beginning, I had this mentality of work hard and just do it type of way that led my body and mental health down to the ground. I was basically a workaholic. There are many people that influenced me throughout my life that changed the way I think of life and especially trying to start something that will shift my world into a better future. One person in particular, this was six years ago and I'm never gonna forget what he said to me. He said, working hard is great. You can work hard as much as you want, but it takes a toll on your body and your mind. But if you work smart, it's even superior to working hard because you can work less and get things done by focusing on what task has the biggest impact. And those are the key points connected with creating, delivering, and capturing as much value as possible. And that, my friend, is how I live my life. And I apply that to the work environment and you know any business related and it has been a great blessing and to have that type of mentality is is awesome and also growing as a person to let go of my ego and to understand the other person's point of view and try to solve the issue it's the idea of trying to eliminate the problem that's in front of you and not the actual person you're arguing with. And this applies to the work environment I'm in and also at home, life, relationship, and family. You have to treat everyone with respect and how you want to be treated. Um, that's a given. A lot of things in my life has never been easy. I moved out of my house when I was 15 and I started living in my car. I remember putting down the back of my seat and I could fit myself perfectly through the booth of my car. I guess this was the starting point of becoming a workaholic. I would sleep close to work and take available hours just to make a few more bucks and repeat that every day. And I thought that if I could work hard, it would lead me to a better life. I grew up in a city called Anaheim, or should I say, Anacrime, um, where you can easily find yourself joining a gang, becoming criminal or dead. I chose a preferred path that led me to where I am today. Um, it was a lot of sacrifices and support from my girlfriend and her mom and other people, and making the right decision that carved my life that I live now. I grew up mostly in an English home, British home. Uh, pretty interesting, right? So I moved out to live with my girlfriend when I was, I think, 17, 18. And so, yeah, I've been, I've been living with them for a long time. And that kind of gave me that different upbringing. And it was a really good experience. I only knew the world that I was exposed to, meaning Anaheim, Tustin, Santa Ana, and uh, that was the only areas I would spend most of my time 
Um, I skated a lot when I was young and was a careless young soul that was just trying to find some type of purpose. There are always two types of upbringing, meaning um, there are those kids that have privilege where they have tools that they could really exceed their life in and the kids that don't, which, which was me. So I really have had to really step it up a thousand times to, to kind of get to where I want to be. Anyways, going back to being a workaholic, um, when I moved to Los Angeles, uh, which was very foreign to me, uh, gave me gave me like a fire inside because everybody's a shark out there and you know you have to really step up your game if you want to survive there it will eat you up and spit you out <laughs> time is the most valuable thing in this world and um, next time with sacrifices and it will lead you to a better life this means I took the time to educate myself every day to learn new things, whether it's designing, photography, videography, coding. I sacrifice a lot of free time to become stronger in those fields because in the long run, I will conquer any challenges that come my way. The world is always moving and changing, so I have to constantly learn and evolve every year. Um, so don't waste your time, um, make those sacrifices, keep learning and evolving. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next episode.